a hi in this video we will see how to deploy an example web app in the windows server so here i'm going to host a windows server in aws and we call it as a aws ec2 windows server now how can i host an example application so that it becomes accessible from the internet so that is the magic i'm going to show you here so first one we're going to create a ec2 instance my ec2 instance is already created with windows os now within that windows os you know we need to enable a feature that is server feature called windows iis so that services has to be enabled i'm going to show you how to do that and then finally you know we're going to see and host an example index.html file and we also try to access it from our laptop which is nothing but you know, when i try to access the ip address of this newly created windows server from my laptop you know it will try to pop up in the sense it will be accessible from the internet so with this lab you know you're gonna understand how you will be hosting a web app in the windows server so that it becomes a publicly accessible web application so as you see here so this is my aws account where i have created a windows server so this is basically a windows server and it has a public ip address so i created an elastic ip address here and that elastic IP address is associated with the IP address of my EC2 instance. And then I did try to connect it with using the RDP client. I got my user ID and password from here. And then I did RDP to my server. So this is how it looks. Then I went to the server manager, if you see here. Right in the server manager, you know what I did is I have accepted in the sense I'm installing a certain features that you see here. So we are installing the IIS Boostable Web Core, Web Server, IIS, right? All these uh, features are being, you know, getting installed. Right now it is, everything is installed right now. Right now with that, we'll go for the next step, like how to create your own example website and uh, where to place it, how to access it. That is something we're gonna see. Okay, so before I show the file configurations, let me again reiterate and show you that you know how to do those uh, feature enablement so this is a server manager dashboard so if you go to the dashboard so there is a add rule and feature options here then click on it before you begin um, let it go next uh, select the server and then the server rules so, so in the roles you need to select web server iis okay and then go for the features so here also you need to select the options that is uh, you know um, all those IIS related option has to be selected here. So first, basically I selected here um, IIS hostable web course, so something like, okay. And then you go, you know, you do the next, 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 and then click install. That is something we saw previously. So once that is gets installed, you see that the roles and server groups. So right now the server has the uh, IIS role. And then file storage as well, which is something differently. I'm going to create another video for this file storage as well. But for now, our feature that is 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 now enabled. Now we go for our next stage, next steps and try to configure our website. Folder name should be inetpub. So as soon as you create a folder name called inetpub, so there will be a huge list of subfolders will be auto created by the system. You don't need to create this. So underneath that inetpub folder, we're going to create another folder called www basically small letter ww root okay so by default this folder will be created you can check it if not created you can create it so in my case it was created i deleted it for you know for some purpose okay so here we're gonna keep one you know executable file that is html file so i have created one ex, you know html file in my system uh, so this is the html file i created and i'm gonna open it in the uh, in my uh, notepad plus plus so this is basically just a hello world html file okay so what i do is you know, i'm going to copy this file into that windows server right and where i'm going to paste it i'm going to paste it underneath the path called inet pub and then you know put this html file so once you put this html file you know your site is now accessible let's try to see uh, from the local host so once you keep the your executable file underneath the uh, www dot, uh, you know the uh, root folder so from local host you know this file becomes executable executable in the sense IIS server will recognize that you know there is a some 
web files being present underneath this particular path and uh, when somebody hits in the local host it should serve that file so that is what it means so let's try to browse local host here in the browser and see you know if that works basically so if i try to browse local host where i'm browsing i'm browsing in the the uh, in the computer okay in the same computer let's see if it gets accessible okay so here you go our uh, uh, file is accessible right so if you go back and see our uh, uh, html file so it has a message that is saying like uh, hello world from aws server and that is exactly how it is working okay so this is basically become accessible from here and from the outside in the sense from the internet in the sense like now i came outside my server and if i try to access it like this that is something like this you know http colon for slash uh, this one right that is not https remember it is not https it is http uh, colon for slash um, you know the i public ip address of the my server the public public ip address is nothing but the the windows server uh, ip address okay so then you see that the site is become accessible here now you see that this is http which is not secure okay so i'm, I'm going to show you another approach which will basically partially secure it that is nothing but you know by doing a you know the certificate import so to enable the certificate you know you need to you go to the um, you know your is manager i'm going to show you that so we go to the is manager here um let me try to open the is manager so within the is manager we're gonna configure the self-signed certificate so that you know it becomes at at least it becomes accessible from the internet via http so though the certificate is not valid because we are using the self-signed certificate but i'm going to show you an approach that you know how you can make the http link working to do that you know you go to the um internet information service manager generally called as ias so here you slide it down and go to the certificate server certificate and here just create a self-signed certificate so once you click on a self-signed certificate give a name like test cert i know keep this as a personal only because it's not verified certificate so it will not get even um, you know the trusted in the internet as well but this is how we're going to do it you know if we have a verified certificate you can import it if not have the verified certificate you can just try to mimic th that by using a self-signed certificate and then from here you know what you're going to do is we're going to bind that self-signed certificate to our site so since we have kept the folder uh, underneath the www, www root folder and directly we kept our index.html file so that site becomes accessible underneath the website that is default website so here you can bind the certificate by clicking on bindings and here add a binding so what we are doing is you know we want to listen on the type that is basically http to whom to the address assigned to this particular device that is service uh, particular you know the server that is public ip address okay so this is 1.172.31 that is nothing but my uh, you know ipv4 address where the public ip address that is recognized in the internet is 54.70.229.14 and here you need to choose a certificate that is test certificate that we created okay and click on okay and then close it and then one thing you know you need to do is restart this so that you know the um the site tries to capture the updated configuration that's the reason we do a restart and after that you know we're gonna go back to the uh you know the local host again so here instead of local host we're gonna try to search with uh with the public ip address okay that is nothing but https uh yeah this is the one https colon for slash the public ip address that is nothing but ip public ip of your server and hit click right so once you hit click on this one basically you see that it says not secure because the certificate is not verified but you can still try to access it by going into the advanced mode um so here is the refresh um i'm gonna go to the advanced one so there should be some network so basically it is not allowed within this system because because of some xyz reason because of the encryption and protection but we can access this site from the internet that is what we wanted right so here if i go here and try to see http instead of http right i'm going to say https so when i say https it says um you know um it says that you know it is insecure but you say that you know, i'm going to 
proceed with that and try to access the content. So this is how basically you know uh, the site becomes accessible from the internet. Remember that I'm accessing that index.html file from my laptop, which is nothing but you're accessing your site from the uh, from your laptop. So basically, this is how we can try to learn you know how a website will be hosted in the uh, you know Windows Server, especially. So here we choose an uh, AWS EC2 instance Windows Server. And then we saw, you know, how does it basically works? You know, this lab is mainly for learning, you know, how does the, uh, you know, the website works from Windows Server. So with that note, I have shown you the things not to be shown in this video. Finally, I can't request, please do subscribe my channel. That would really encourage me a lot. With that note, thank you. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.